Oh, it's incredible. Honestly, I didn't expect to be here. Like I, I said to a few other people, like this is probably the comp that I really wanted to win the most. Like I just wanted to hear that national anthem, um, and I didn't think it was going to happen really. But you know, everyone can dream, and here we are. So it's just incredible. And for yeah. lack of a better term, you were throwing some pretty mud throws in practice. You had a wee chat to your dad, and what inspired you to put out the gold-winning effort? Oh yeah, honestly, I don't know what happened. Um, I had like a rest day and a half, and so usually that makes me pretty fresh, and I, I think just the nerves hit me pretty hard. When was the moment that you thought, hey, I might have the gold medal here? Uh, seeing Sophie throw that third throw into the cage, um, so her and Gillian were both out, um, yeah, I was kind of like, oh wow, you really got to hold it together now because Alex Hulley, um, who got silver medal, was kind of coming for me and she tossed a big one out which was close to a PB for her. So, yeah, glad to get that fifth round throw out. And also, like, you don't get to throw on the stage very often and it's like a really good chance because you're just so hyped up on adrenaline and caffeine and things like that. That it's just a good chance to throw far. And so I was kind of like, yeah, I could sit on this throw and hope, hope that I win it or I could get out there and just have some good throws. So, no, it was just great to be out there. So much fun. You must have been stoked with that last throw of yours. A bloody impressive effort. Oh yeah, no, it was just I was just great, like really grateful that I managed to get six good attempts out there. Like usually people are kind of fouling all over the place and getting a bit excited or kind of getting a bit tired. So no, I managed. I was just really stoked with what what I put together tonight. So really proud. <laughs> and what did Coach Dad say to you to inspire you to the gold medal winning throw? Oh, I don't think I talked to him before that one, but like after those practice throws, he just really just said, "Mate, you've got it. Like, what are you doing? Just, just enjoy it. Just calm down. Like, just relax." Because um, I think that was really the problem was just, just hadn't been in a, a like a big stadium like that for six months or twelve months or nearly. So, you know, it was good to just finally like relax into it and enjoy it. Because I knew, like, training been really great the last week, so I knew I was in good nick. And I was like, the only thing that can screw this up is me. And I was like, no, we're not going to let that happen today. So, yeah, no, got it right and got out there. And you're now a Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Has it sunk in yet? Definitely not. I don't think. I think it's like when you kind of get home and open your laptop or your phone and you get all the messages. That's when it really sinks in. It's just those supporters that make it make it real for you, eh? Because it's kind of like, oh yeah, I've tossed a medal ball quite far, but what does it really mean? But like all the love from back home is nah, it just really makes it real. And this is the first time at the Commonwealth Games that they've had an, e an equal number of women's events to men's. Is that a big deal? Oh, definitely. Like it's awesome. I, I think even uh, even better is seeing all the women's um, teams from African countries and where women's rights aren't necessarily as equal as they are in New Zealand. So it's awesome to see um, countries that don't have kind of equal representation having a lot more women's teams here. So that's been awesome to see them around the village. Mm -hmm.